Hi, my name's Jack from Starks Fitness. Here at Starks Fitness, we're committed to helping you realise your health and wellness goals. We're also committed to helping the NHS staff stay fit, healthy and stress-free. Here are some tips for your own health and well-being. Tactics for dealing with stress. Stress as we know it is only viewed in one light, negative. However, there are more positive benefits to stress so long as we understand how to manage and recover from them. Although it brings challenges like impacting our immune system, changing our mood, reducing our energy levels, stress when managed properly through the correct recovery protocols can actually build strength and resilience. Step one, what can be measured can be managed. My first point of call is understanding what creates stress and in what amounts. We only have one stress cut and it can quickly overflow. If we can identify and measure our stressors, we can manage the load. Identify positive and negative stressors and list them all down. Step two, how big is your cut? As I mentioned before, we do become more resilient when we recover from stress. That means those who have been under stress may have built up bigger cuts than others. Learning how to read the signs and symptoms our body provides us is the next step towards understanding when your cup is nearing full. Simple habits like keeping a journal can be all the data you need to look back and uncover thoughts, emotions and actions you had at times when the stressors were high or low. You can spot the trends and look for them further down the road. Keep a journal of your thoughts, emotions and actions. Step three, your toolbox. Now you have taken the time towards identifying your stressors, and also the signs your body gives you when it's beginning to rise, you need some tools that will help you keep things under control. Our lives are full of stimulating tasks and activities, and often what we need to manage stress is the opposite. Therefore, the tools you need to manage stress are those which help you put the brakes on and unwind. Things like reading, listening to calming music, being outside in nature, yoga, spending time with loved ones, and laughing are all great additions to your de-stressing toolbox. My favourite, however, guided breathing. It's as simple as sitting still, shutting off your attention and bringing consciousness to the breath entering, then leaving your body. Noticing the speed at which it's moving and how it's making your body and mind feel. Some practices that focus on slow exhales actively stimulate the nerves in your brain that return the parasympathetic side of our nervous system to dominance. This is the perfect state for us to remain if we are to rest and relax. Practice guided breathing throughout each day. Our guided breathing routine consists of a four second inhale through the nose into the belly, followed by a six second exhale also through the nose, emptying your belly. You can repeat this between three and five to 10 minutes.